Before you perform the assay, bring the kit components to room temperature. Ensure that the kit is under expiry. Test preparation. Remove the device from the test pouch and check the color of silica gel. It should be blue. If the color is pink, do not use the device. Label the test device with the patient's identification number or name. Wipe the finger of the patient using the alcohol swab provided with the kit. Ensure that the finger is completely dried before it is pricked. Prick the finger using the lancet and dispose the lancet immediately. Gently squeeze the disposable sample dropper, immerse the open end into the blood. Draw blood from the patient's finger using the sample dropper, up to the mark provided in the sample dropper. Add 5 microliter blood, into the sample port 1. Dispose off the used sample dropper. How to pierce the buffer bottle. Tighten the cap clockwise, to pierce the dropper bottle nozzle. To open the buffer bottle, twist the cap anti-clockwise. Seal the buffer bottle properly after use, and store at recommended temperature. Add 4 drops of buffer solution, into the buffer port 2, vertically at 90 degrees. Improper quantity of buffer solution, leads to an accurate result. Interpret test results, at the end of 20 minutes. Do not interpret after 30 minutes. Interpretation of results. Positive for malaria. If two bands appear, the test is positive for malaria PF infection. The intensity of test band may vary depending upon the concentration of analyte. Strong, medium and weak positive. Negative for malaria. If only control band appears, the test is negative for malaria infection. Invalid test results. If the control line is blue, with no test band even after running the test. If purple test band appears, but control line is blue. Only test band develops without control band. Neither test nor control band develops. The invalid test results may also arise due to improper storage of the kit, not following IFU, or using the kits beyond expiry. Record the results.